Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got a GT4 Dick Series race here for you. Tried to get a couple of these done earlier, and uh, it did not go very well. Had one incident that was my fault, but a lot of people just overdriving taking me out, and it always seemed to happen really early on in the race, so didn't want to show you guys something that was terrible like that, so hoping this one, third time's the charm, that it's going to be a clean and somewhat interesting one. Um, try to gain back some of the I rating and safety rating that I've lost. Um, we are here at Summit Point Raceway at the full layout. In the Aston Martin Vantage. Hoping that this will go better than my first attempt that was at Interlagos. That was not real good. And I'm hoping that because I know this course a little bit better than Interlagos. That it'll be a little bit better. Um, but, you know, I'm still... <laughs> Really new to road racing, really, really, really new to this class and series, and so I don't expect a whole ton out of myself. In a weaker field now that my uh, I rating has dropped, so we'll see what that brings as well. Um, but yeah, just going to try to put lap in, see if I can get myself somewhat towards the front of the field. I'm car number 7, I think there's like 18 or something like that in this, so... I just want to try to get as close to the front, like, third or quarter if I can. Don't know if I'll have the pace to do that, but we'll see what happens. First lap isn't starting great, but we'll see what we can do. Usually my second lap is faster as the grip and the heat comes up in the tires. You can see I really messed up the entry into one there. Just did not get through it very quickly. Let's see what we can do, though, if I can try to pick up any time. Uh, almost missed the corner a little bit there. Lost a lot of time trying to keep it off of the dirt. There's a lot of ways that I drive this very similar to how I did in the MX-5, but a lot of parts that are different. So it's been uh, kind of like a retraining session for my brain to to remember how to drive this differently and uh, you know learn the grip level and, and where I can push the car and where not to push the car. Not a very good first lap at all, just really, really slow through all the sections, so just see if I can make up time on this second one. Although it's not starting good when I overshoot turn 10 like that. Just see what I can do, see if I can get anywhere near my all-time best. It's probably not likely, but you never know. Eighth place right now, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that have not turned times yet. So we're going to try to make this lap better. At least got through one a little bit better than the previous lap. Let's just see if I can keep that trend going the rest of the way. Although I'm still overshooting this corner, so that's going to cost me a lot of time. Need to just break a little more pressure. I think the timing of when I'm breaking isn't a big deal, but need a little bit more pressure. Let's see if we can get through this section any faster than I did last lap. Last lap was not very good. Trying to run it as close to the curbs as I can, keep the momentum up, but not slide the thing too much, but not lift any more than I have to. Definitely a lot better. You can see I'm actually picking up time on my all-time best, so it's still going to be a really, really slow lap compared to my all-time best, but at least it uh, should be significantly better than the first lap. Yeah, we'll be like nine tenths faster than the first lap, so I'll take that. Gets me into the 114s. Bumps your last lap time Bumps me up to fifth place, so um, might not be a bad spot to start. We'll see. Just get out of the car. We are fifth of 15 that turn time, so um, top third at least so far. I don't know. If the one is going to turn time, obviously I would assume he's going to be a lot faster. That's the end of the session. P5. Looks like uh, he's choosing to start in the back, which I chose to do that one race and picked up quite a few spots and then still got involved stuff. So I I don't know what the, uh, the correct strategy play is. Um, yeah, we will get paints refreshed, get some people gridded up. We'll take a look, make sure those are coming up. And... Uh, yeah, hopefully it should be a uh, a fairly fun race. Looks like we've got a 
decent split of cars. I can see at least Astons, Beamers, and Porsches. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what I can do. Qualified just slightly ahead of where I should finish this car number seven, so hopefully I can keep it there. Again, you know, this is short race, only 15 minutes long, should be about 13 laps. Unless somehow the entire field really stalls out and has a um, bad time. I'm going to use Session Best Lab for this instead of my, my all-time best. Um, but yeah, we'll just uh, see what I can do. Start close enough to the front. Hopefully everybody from behind is smart. And we don't have, you know, people going three wide into turn one and die bombing and whatever. If I happen to see anything and I can try to avoid it without putting myself into somebody else, I will do that. Otherwise, we're just going to be along for the ride. Just want to get the first, you know, lap or two under the belt. If I lose some spots to people pushing harder, that's fine. But just kind of uh, get some heat in the tires, get the grip levels to come up, a little bit pressures to come up, and then uh, start feeling a little more confident and, uh, you know, start working it a little bit more. I, I find, at least when I was doing practice runs, fastest laps were coming somewhere right around the middle of the race, you know, lap six or seven or so. Um, obviously, again, my fast lap's not going to be very quick compared to where I should be, but... Um, you yeah, know, might not be bad, so maybe with a weaker field, maybe I can actually try to stay here in the top five and, and get a little bit of, better of a finish, so. Decent way to, uh, close out week number nine. The track temp is one. Not sure if I will get a, another oval race in after this one or not. There'll be a break between, uh, the start of my week ten. But, I thought this would be a good road race to get in. Follow Smalley. As always, we do have pace laps in this series, so it's always a chance for guys to uh, screw something up and us to get incident points. Not necessarily, but we'll see. Gonna uncheck the uh, fuel and the tires in case we do happen to have an issue and use a fast repair. That way I can still stay out and get you guys some laps or something to steam instead of ending it early on in the race. Just kind of riding the brake a little bit to... Uh, to build up those brake temps and uh, help out the core tire temperature. At least give me a little bit more grip to start. Trying to get cleaner races in so that I can get my safety rating up, possibly license up to uh, the V license to be able to run GT3 races before the end of this season. Don't know if that's going to happen. Just have to see how close I can get. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I mean, I'll probably run one or two of them. You know, I, I don't think I'll transition out of this. I think I want to master this before I transition to GT3 fully, but it'll be fun to run that on a week that, you know, either I don't have a track for this or, you know, I want to fill in something extra. Um, so try to try to get to that if I can. We'll see. But I think this is a, uh, I think this is a good class for me to focus on. It's not too fast to get me in trouble like a, uh, a quick open wheel or even some gp3 cars but it definitely has enough power to let you know when you've done things wrong um, and enough power to make it you know racy and fun to me so i think it's a uh, i think it's a good class to stay in for a while for trying to improve my road racing abilities in terms of sports cars obviously you know with me being an oval background i always want to improve my stock car and this is a little bit different than a stock car, but still not a bad compromise for um, a more frequent road racing base. So but we'll see what we can do. Getting ready to go. Pace car is going to be pulling off this time. Okay, Jake, be ready. Probably going to do a second gear start, depending on what the leader wants to do. Leader is off and rolling. Just going to stay to the right-hand side. You can see the 17 and the 11 already making contact. 17 just drove right into the 11. I was able to avoid that. I've got the 16 to my left side. We're able to clear him, so we can try to get into a little more of a uh, normal corner entry. 17 and the 4 make contact, so certainly going to have to watch out for the 17. Seems like he might be a, uh, a bit reckless and a bit aggressive. Puts us into third place already, which is crazy. But yeah, that's, that's why I can see the Merit just starting in the back. That was that was crazy. The 12 has gone as well. Just gonna lay back a little bit. Watch out for the 17. He seems a bit all over the place. I kind of overshoot that corner a little bit. 
Just going to ride behind the 17 right now. Four's making his way back up. If he gets back up to me, I'll certainly let him by because I think he's going to have a lot more pace than I am. 17 goes off the track. There's the perfect chance to get by him without any incident. Looks like that was a self-inflicted wound that I was kind of expecting to have happen at some point. Really underdriving the car right now, but like I said, just trying to get through these first couple laps cleanly without any issues. We're quite a bit of ways back from the 12, but um, yeah, <laughs> not a bad start at all. Able to avoid the incidents and uh, move ourselves up to second already. Just try to get going now. See where we stack up against everybody behind us. So I think my only threat right now behind would probably be the four, but we'll have to see what he can do. My big goal is to not overdrive that corner like I had in qualifying. Don't know if I'll have anything for the 12, but certainly going to do my best. Got on the brakes a little hard there, kind of spun around, was able to save it. That's why you saw the four shoot way to the right side to avoid me. Cost me a lot of time with the four, but no big deal. Got it saved, reset. It's very rare that I can ever run a road race without any mistakes, so no big deal. 12 looks like he's pulled away ever so slightly, but maybe we'll have enough pace to try to get back to him. And if the four gets by us and we get by the 12, maybe we can keep ourselves as a second place car. 0.5 back to the 4, 2.9 up to the 12. If I wouldn't have made that mistake, we'd probably be pretty close to the 12 in pace. So we'll try to work the car up. Got on the throttle a little too early there, a little too hard. Got the car a little loose. Not quite on the traction control, but that's that. That limit that I'm still trying to learn that the car lets you know, hey, you put a little too much power into it. Sector 1 is 0. Three, seven, off the like I said, feeling some pressure from the four. If he gets a bit more aggressive, I'll let him by. Overshoot that corner big time. It's going to cost me a bunch of time to the 12. Although the sad thing is, because I didn't have that braking issue, I'm still ahead of where I was the last lap. Okay, Jake. Don't let this guy distract you. Just a little wide there out of the corner, killed a little momentum, but just trying to keep it safe. Lost a lot of time to the 12 through that sector. But we'll get with it. Got the 11 coming back out after his repair. I think that was the one that he took from the uh, beginning of the race. Should be able to get by him without any issues going into one. Lost about three tenths to the 12 that lap. The curb a little too much there. Four is going to push on the inside of the corner right side. See where he wants to set up a pass. I really feel like there's only a few spots that are very safe passing zones everywhere else. You kind of have to wait for somebody to make a mistake and then take the opportunity. Kind of like that. Just let him go on the left side. No reason to fight him. Ball in line behind him. It'll cost me less time to the 10 behind. And I can study behind him and try to learn lines that he's doing. Maybe if the two of us work together, we'll actually catch the, uh, the 12 a little bit quicker. Push it off the track. We just cut the track. The 10 was able to close up. Thank you to him for keeping off of me. That's my first mistake that I'm going to make. Let's the four pull away big time. Just gotta settle down, regroup. The leader has just done 114. Can't really, I didn't really want an incident point when I could avoid it, but you know, okay, God, I'm still relax, really bad at this, so mistakes are bound to come. Just gonna try to work a little more conservatively. I think even like 90% like or 95%, I'm still probably faster than the 10. Just, uh, Need to be smart. Felt really good about that corner that time. It was a lot better. You can see the difference in the delta as well. The translated.
see if we can make this a much better lap and try to pull away from the 10. Overshot that corner a little bit. I want to try to keep it a little bit tighter to the curbing. Got to make sure this time I don't get off track. Two times, okay. You can see when I drive a clean line, we are definitely pulling away from the 10. So I think realistically, probably a third place car. Not as good of a turn 10 as I wanted, but not horrific. We'll see where the gaps are as we cross the line. 0.9 back to the 10, 2.6 up to the 12, or the 4. Maybe I'll get lucky and I can try to set a personal best by the end of this race. Only like a tenth and a half off from what it was, so I guess it's within striking distance. Got to be smooth, keep the car from sliding, but try to find that edge of that grip, not overshoot corners. Drove really, really conservatively in there that time, although if I'm going to make a mistake, I'd rather drive in conservatively than overshoot a corner. I think I lose a lot less time by driving in too slow into a corner than driving in way too fast. And I have the other benefit of it doesn't heat up the tires quite as bad. Okay, He's able to turn it around the back half of that lap and good. go a little bit faster. You can see we're pulling away from the 10, but we also lost a couple right, tenths to the 4. 14, 4, 4. Should be sitting right around where we should be a third place car based on pace at this time. Let's try to see. Really good turn one that time. Really good turn one. Picked up a lot of time. Lost a little bit of time through that corner, but we're still not doing bad. Ten's doing a good job keeping up with us, though. I feel like as soon as I picked up time, he did too. Try to hit this section a little bit better this time. see by keeping it in the corner or against the curbing how much time I gain. Big time difference there and I didn't get quite as well through this back half of this section but a lot of time gained through the beginning so just got to navigate that back half a little bit better and we'll be much better off. Trying to use a little bit more of the track to get a little better run down the front stretch off of turn 10 pulling away from the 10. Just keeping pace with the four, and we're technically gaining on the 12. I don't know if we're going to have enough time to get to the 12, though. Before the end of the race, he's got six second gap. is going to be pretty hard to make up in uh, six laps. But you never know. He could make a self-inflicted mistake like I've been known to do myself and put us back in second. As long as I can keep improving my laps, no matter where I finish, I will be happy with that. Almost did the same thing there. Car wanted to step out, was able to catch it just in time. Keep it just to a small wiggle. Trying to get through this section a little bit better than the last time. If I can't, if I don't screw up turn 10, I should be able to set my all-time best, which will make me happy. Trying to get a better run out of turn 10. Good run out of turn 10. Still picking up time. Pulling away from the 10, keeping pace with the 4, and closing up slowly on the 12. But again, I just don't think there's enough time to get to the 12. Your lap times are improving. This is good. Felt like I overshot one there. Delta confirms that. But able to recover. Don't think I'll be able to get in the 113s, but if I could somehow do that, that would make me ecstatic before the end of the race. I just think I probably hit the, the peak of my grip and it's going to start slowing down from here. I don't think it'll be a drastic fall off, but... But big goal is to just try to keep it as clean and straight as I can. And, uh... You know, 
protect what's a good finish right now for me. Despite, you know, even with it being a weaker field. I have to accept things in reality of where I'm at, not where I want to be. Good section of that time through the back half of the S's. Picked up a lot of time, still going to be a probably slower lap unless I can do something miraculous out of 10, but... Learning stuff as we go. We're actually closing up on the 4 now. Picked up almost half a 10th and pulled away quite a bit from the 10, so... Don't think there's really any pressure from him. And if nothing else, that's technically two laps faster than my personal best. So, makes me happy. Picked up a good turn one there. Let's see if I can keep it going and maybe get close to that 113. Well, I did not get through that corner very well, so cost myself some time, but no big deal. Let's see if we can get through this section faster. Maybe I can try to make up some time. Even if I can't get to a 113, can still set a faster lap. That corner entry I'm just struggling with a little bit. Like, it still wasn't a bad section. Obviously, I picked up some time, but... Just not hitting that quite as well as I'd like to. Oh, not a good turn 10. Not a good turn 10. Lost a lot of time. Lost a lot of time. Wish this was like a 30 minute race like the Insta Pilot Challenge, then I feel like I could have enough time to try to get to the 12. So I feel like reasonably by the relative, what we're seeing with the times, I'm actually probably the second fastest car on the track as we're pulling away from the 10. We're actually closing in on the 4, and we've been closing in on the 12 for quite a bit, so... Just too many mistakes early on, I didn't push hard enough, close enough. I think we'll probably have one... Two more laps, maybe? Try to see if I can pick up any time through this section, because I was not very good coming into it. Overshot that corner, and uh, about got it off, so... I had to give up a lot of time, because if I would have stayed on the throttle, that car would have been going off the right side of the track. And again, I'd rather protect third place and lose some time than... Uh, Try to save it and end up costing myself who knows how many spots. So, not a good lap. We're getting the white flag. We're only going to go 12 laps. So, I guess the pace was slow enough that we weren't going to go 13, but that's okay. One more to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. That lap was a 115.47. See if we can drive well enough to set. Personal best this lap. Don't think it's going to happen, but hey. Got my goal set. We got no pressure from behind. Without somebody wrecking up front, we're not getting anybody, so I don't need to worry about changing breaking points. Got off the track. Personal best isn't happening. Just pushed to trying to get to it and stepped over that boundary, but if I can keep it clean the rest of the lap, I'll take a 2x out of this race. That's a lot better than where I typically am at. Obviously, there was no reason why I shouldn't have had a 0x. But, you know, no big deal, and now I continue to throw the lap away. So, we're just going to kind of take it easy, get through the lap, bring it home in third, and at least say, hey, I finished ahead of my car number, I finished ahead of where I qualified, and for the most part, I kept it clean. I cannot complain about that. I know reasonably I was at least the third fastest car on the track, and you can make an argument that I was the second fastest car. So, that's a GT4 race, and I finally finished one pretty clean. I'm glad that I was able to get in a better race compared to what the other ones were. I'm glad I was able to get you guys a good finish. Well done, Jake. Great drive. That's Take a look and see what happened at the start. Um, yeah, I don't know what the 17 was thinking. Definitely take a, uh, a look at that one. I feel like that was a bit of a uh, <laughs> spastic effort. Um, so let's pull up the 17 while everybody else is finishing so we get the results. Alright, so let's rewind this because this start was kind of weird. The, the leader 
took off. He didn't take off early. I mean, he was clear to go at any time. He just took off and then jumped a lane change pretty quick. So you can see he pushed it right to the left. So the four held his lane. The 17 just decides to turn right. Um, I mean, you can see. Let's watch it from the 11th point. He's literally keeping the car straight. He actually turns right because he sees the 17 coming. And there might have been a bit of netcode. But, I, yeah, I mean, the initial contact started with netcode. But the 17 literally just turned right on the straightaway into the 11. Sends the 11 going around. Um, I mean, that's got to suck for a start. You can see the uh, 16's trying to avoid the 11 to the left side of the track. I saw him spinning and just committed to the right side to get hard to get by him. Uh, he goes spinning off the track. 16 ends up. Let's see where the uh, 16 ends up if he's got problems. Because I didn't see him. Yeah, I, okay. So he was still off the track, and that's why I was able to clear him. I just saw him on the relative at one point that he was on our left side. I didn't see exactly where. So that's what allowed me to get uh, straight through that. But then let's watch the 17's next move where he just dives in on the four. I mean, he's way back and just dives hard and does not make the corner. The four should not expect him to take that inside line, and he just shoves him out of the way. Um, and then I think he was going to lose it up here. That allowed me to get by the four without any problems. So, yeah, I don't know what the 17 was thinking. It was fast forward. I don't remember where he lost it. Right here. All right, so he's coming out of the S's. I think he got on the throttle a bit too hard and just the thing was kind of unsettled. Let's uh, rewind it a little bit. I think he might have even been a bit more unsettled because he, he started getting loose right there. And then he starts to see he saw him back at the wheel and that's when he had it unbalanced and it just ripped around and he goes off the track. Gave us all the perfect opportunity to get by him cleanly. Let's see if he rejoins safely. Wouldn't have been shocked if he pulled out in front of somebody. Trying to get out of the grass. Keeps it on the left side. Looks like everybody gets by him cleanly. So, um... And then the, the 16 comes back by to get by him. So let's take a look at the other incidents that happened in the race. Nine goes for a spin. I... What turn is that? Okay, yeah, this is one that I had happen in the, in practice. If you caught that edge of that grass at all with the right side tires, it just ripped the car right around. I did that quite a few times in practice. Um, that was definitely easy to do. 17, same thing, goes off the track slice, you can see almost in the identical tire marks as the 9. 15, he's got the 5 to his left, wow, that was, that was a really good job riding two wheels straight through. I think he just turned down into the, the 5, but I could be wrong. So he's on pit road, 11 gets loose, he's gonna get the inside retaining wall with the left rear and then get it with the left front. And that was it. So actually a pretty clean race overall. So let's go check out the results. Those should be good now. I should finally at least be able to gain both. Uh, that was a fifth split out of nine. Uh, 12, 1289 strength of field. Not very good at all. Um, but again, I, you know, I'm absolutely terrible. So I can't, can't say anything at all. Uh, able to gain 0.11 on the safety rating, so a 2.38 is still abysmal, but the more races I can get with like 2x or start getting 0x's in, then I should be able to start making bigger jumps a little bit quicker. Uh, I think it's a little bit easier to make the jumps in road racing than it is with oval racing, given the corners, unless you run something like, you know, NIS or, or one of the longer open series races. I'm able to gain 71 in I rating, so uh, just over 1350. Um, I would love to get to either 2,000 or 2,500 would be an awesome goal at some point in time in road racing, but that's going to take me a long time, especially because I don't run it anywhere near as frequently as ovals, so it'll get there. Um, let's see. I think I actually might have had the fastest individual lap of the race. Wow, that's unexpected and crazy. And really, if I wouldn't have made a couple of those mistakes, I, I don't think I would have been close enough to get by the 12 or the 4 by the end of the race, but I, I would have probably been a few seconds ahead. You know, I probably would have only been like three seconds behind him, uh, behind the 12, and only, you know, a, a second and a half to two seconds behind the 4. But um, that makes me feel good. I mean, again, it's a really weak field, so that 114.275 is probably, you know, a full second off of what the fastest guys are running, but that, that makes me feel pretty good to uh, 
to have been able to do that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. I'm glad to finally get you something clean and hopefully the GT4 is something you guys enjoy, you want to see more of. Feel free to leave any comments, any of your analysis that you had on that. Uh, if you guys have driving tips for this, both for some point, the GT4 class in general, uh, Aston Martin in general. And uh, if you guys like it, let me know too if you want to see more of it. Um, I mean, it was fun for me, but I obviously want to do something that's always going to be enjoyable for you guys. So love to hear from you guys. And until the next one, I hope all your laps are fast, your races are clean, and your finishes are good. Thanks for watching.